everyone. I'd like to present a, a math exercise. I will be taking a, a couple, couple of measurements, angular measurements of the sun using um, an artificial horizon and a sextant. I'll be taking one measurement in the morning and one measurement in the afternoon. In the background, there'll be a time signal. And at the time of my measurement, I will say mark and show you the reading. Um, anyways, from this information, you should be able to calculate what my latitude and longitude position is. So I thought that would be interesting. So anyways, good luck with that. Make sextant readings because unlike the sea where you have a horizon where you can use the sextant on to determine where the horizon is, you don't have that on land. Um, so you have this artificial horizon. Let me show you how it works. These uh, sides on. Those I filled it up with water. And uh, what's going to happen is the sun is going to reflect off the water, the pool of water that I poured in there. Filters are here so we don't have to fry our eyes out. So anyways, the sun reflects off the pool of water in here, and so that angle would be right here. The angle of the sun is right up here, so the horizon would be halfway in between those two angles. So when you take a measurement using an artificial horizon, you have to divide that angle by two, and it would be precisely the center, or halfway between the two angles. Since it's easier to take limb shots than to actually find the center of the sun, uh, I'll be taking some limb shots, so you'll need this table right here. Okay, coming up is the morning shot. I was sort of talking over the, the time signal, <clears throat> which happened to be 1726. Also, there was some static on the uh, 1727 signal. All right. It's February 20th, 2010, UTC. This time I'm going to do the upper shot. Upper limb side. Mark. And here's the reading for that one. Here's your decimal minutes. See it? Okay, coming up now is your afternoon shot. February 21st, 2000. Uh, 10, UTC. At the zone, zero hours, 16 minutes, coordinated universal time. Mark. This is 
the lower limb shot. There's your degrees. And there's your minutes, decimal minutes. Hello folks, time to get the calculators out. Um, there's two, uh, two things I'd like to point out before you get started. Um, you'll need to look up um, the formulas for a spherical trig. Uh, there's two ma main formulas. One is the law of cosines and the other is the law of sines. And uh, be sure to get the ones for spherical triangles and not for regular triangles. They're quite a bit different. Um, the other thing you'll need to do is, is get hold of uh, an almanac. Now, I've, uh, I've been able to get some really neat ones online before. The one I currently have downloaded on my computer I haven't been able to find recently, but they're out there um, and they work quite well. Um, you can also go maybe uh, with the book form too. This is a current one, but you can get a current one. And it's a little more awkward to use, but they work just fine too. So, looking forward to seeing how well you guys do. Uh, take care.